you know, I felt I acquitted myself quite well in Australia, but you know, it's it's kind of in the past now when you know we've had this block and probably would like to have played more in this block. I haven't played since Italy, so I'm just hungry now to get back out and you know put my best foot forward. I kind of feel like you can't be. You know, it was obviously great for my confidence at the time and stuff, but if you want to keep progressing as a player and if you want to keep challenging the likes of Rory and, you know, Sean Cronin, then you've got to keep kind of moving forward and that. So I haven't really tried to think about it much. You know, like this week, I'll certainly just be concentrating on the USA and making sure they put my best foot forward there. Well, I kind of feel like in this group, you know, we always set our own kind of standards, so there's just always that kind of pressure, you know, like that. the standard, like I said, was set last week. and we won't be you know, happy if we can't meet that standard. So that's just the kind of pressure that we always have on ourselves and that's the kind of you know, pressure that we need to keep putting on ourselves to build into a you know, successful Six Nations campaign and to build into a World Cup. So that's kind of where this group is at and that's why it's you know, so exciting to be part of and why it's so competitive at training and you, know, you can't afford to kind of miss any rep in training. And you know, I love that challenge coming in here all the time. He was certainly outstanding uh, in the at the weekend against New Zealand, you know, and I think he's been absolutely outstanding for Munster as well. And I think, you know, probably since the Lions, he's really pushed his game on, you know, and I, I think that's natural. I think a lot of lads would have that reaction to a Lions tour. You know, Pete hasn't spoken to me personally about that or anything, but, you know, I'm sure you see other guys and how they do things. And he's just always looking for any little edge he can get anyway. But, you know, he was obviously outstanding the last day. I don't know if he's playing the rugby of his life or not. He could probably only tell you that, but I certainly think he's been hugely impressive uh, this year. And you know, obviously for me having him in my club, it's you know it's brilliant to see. Likewise with Tyg and stuff, you know, to see those guys that are really playing unbelievable rugby at the moment and really pushing the boundaries is great because that's what we need, obviously, as a club. And in here, he's the exact same. So we're always unbelievably selfish we want to be in the team but i think to be honest like i don't know this is how i view it anyway like it's on thursday when the team was announced i wasn't in and it's kind of you're handing it over then and we'd always say in here that the responsibility is then on the guys that were picked to perform and i think when they perform you can't feel aggrieved or let down or you know rory had an unbelievable game and you know shawnee came on had a massive impact as well so i think it's there's just a bit of an acceptance factor when you're you know you put your best foot forward all week and then they announce the team and after that you just do your best to prepare the guys and hand it over and I think you know that's exactly what we did last week and you know like when they back it up with the performance they did then you know you can't really have any complaints they're both very solid at the weekend so fair play to them.